Let's cross over to the uh, French National Assembly, France 24's James Andre is there. James, give us the latest. Well, the latest is indeed, as you said, Richard Ferrand has just been elected with 254 uh, votes uh, out of a total possible of 484. Now, obviously, he has had an absolute majority and he is indeed, as you say, the new president of the French National Assembly and Speaker of the House. And uh, that is uh, a very powerful uh, spot here in France. That makes him the fourth most powerful man in the French political system. Now, indeed, uh, Mr. Ferrand had been a very close ally of Emmanuel Macron ever since uh, Emmanuel Macron decided to run for president. He was one of the first uh, to join the ranks of La République En Marche, Emmanuel Macron's party. Uh, back then, formerly, he was a socialist. He was a member of parliament. He's been since 2012. Indeed, he is a career politician. He's been uh, in politics for years now. He is 56 and started being a militant uh, within uh, the uh, Socialist Party uh, when he was 18 years old. When he was 18 years old, uh, overcoming a bit of scandal himself at the outset of Macron's presidency. Yes, absolutely. He was only a minister for Macron back in June 2017 for about three weeks when indeed a scandal broke about him. He has already said uh, that he would not step down as a Speaker of the House if indeed this, this scandal is reactivated. Uh, indeed, he was uh, formally placed under formal investigation back in 2017, and indeed he's been clears of charges uh, since then. But the anti-core NGO uh, has decided to reactivate this procedure, which is about, in fact, uh, illegal uh, benefits he would have made his wife exactly uh, would have made over a uh, real estate operation uh, with a insurance company in Brittany uh, of whom well Richard Ferrand was the president at the time now uh, he says that uh, he there is no wrongdoing that it was all legal and moral but indeed a new procedure has been opened uh, in the French judiciary now the question is will he or will he not in this new uh, investigation be placed under formal investigation. If he is, obviously, uh, questions will be asked, but the fact of the matter is he's already said that he would not step down, and that has caused a bit of a stir here in France.